I could check to see if you're to the town. <sighs> we're on a pretty tight ship around here. So let me get this straight. That means I need someone who's reliable and observant. In this show, if the guy likes them, they get a rose? I need someone who can be discreet. But if he doesn't, then they miss out on the chance to be with him? I don't get what they're supposed to be losing out on. That guy has the personality of a wet rag. I don't get why they've made so many seasons of it. Yeah. Trashy TV is actually the perfect name for shows like this. It's like watching a train wreck. It's awful, but I can't take my eyes off it. No, don't turn it off. I want to see what happens next. Bad job, and... Why are you laughing? Well, you know as well as I do. I'm oh, great. We've been roped in. Sometimes that place... Turn off the television before I waste any more time on this shit. You wouldn't want to find out the cost the hard way, right? Next time, I'm choosing what we watch. No wonder they plucked you right out of... Hey, what's wrong? You look like you're in pain. Yeah, I know you've had a long day, but that's not what's bothering you. Well, yeah, no wonder your legs hurt. You've been on your feet all day running the shop. And I doubt those shoes you're wearing help with your feet. It doesn't matter how nice they look, they're certainly not meant to be worn all day. If you're gonna be stubborn, you might as well let me help. Put your legs in my lap. You can lean your back against the arm of the couch if you want. No, I'm not kidding. Go on. I'll roll up the leg of your pants. There's a way you can massage the calf that helps loosen the muscles. New cadets do it all the time when they're first learning how to use their ODM gear. They put too much weight on their legs instead of bracing their core. and so their legs are always worn out by the end of the day. How does that feel? Good. But stay still so I can do it properly. Hmm? Oh, nothing's wrong. I just realized I haven't worn my ODM gear in so long. It feels... weird. Ever since I taught myself how to use it, it became a part of my everyday routine. Huh? Well, no. Fun isn't exactly how I'd describe it. I don't know. I guess I can't really see ODM gear as fun. Even though it can feel freeing. Like you're flying through the sky and leaving everything else behind. I just think I've seen too many bodies dangling from them in the field. so they feel like a tool or weapon instead. No, don't be sorry. 
if I'm being honest. This whole other world thing has been... nice. Despite the stress of wanting to go back and finish what I started, it's been good not to have to worry about scouting missions for a while. There. That should be enough to loosen the muscles. Although, let me know if you need me to do it again. I'd be happy to help. Uh, yeah, you can keep your legs crossed against my lap. If you're comfortable. <clears throat> um, by the way... I have something for you. Hold on, I put it in my bag. I saw it the other day in a little trinket store and uh, thought you'd like it. I'm not normally a gift-giving person, so I understand if you hate it. It's a seashell. A ceramic one. It reminded me of the ones we have on the beaches of Parody. I thought of getting it for myself, but I wanted you to have it. You've shared your world with me, so I wanted to give you a piece of mine. So, what do you think? <laughs> Good. I'm glad you like it. These past few months, you haven't just provided physical shelter for me. I don't have to worry about the Titans or the Scouts or anything, really. It feels so peaceful. Like there's finally some distance between me and everything that's happened. And for the first time in a long time, I get to be around someone who doesn't look at me and see a weapon. You don't ask me to risk my life or to sacrifice people I care about. You don't expect the world from me. All you need me to do is clean the shop and take care of creeps. And as messed up as that sounds, that's new to me. It isn't just the technology that's overwhelming me. It's that when you look at me, I feel like a person, a normal person. I've never felt that way before. My whole life has been a struggle to survive. to keep myself and the people I care about alive. But now, I go to sleep and I keep thinking that I'm gonna wake up and you'll be gone. And I don't want that. I don't want to be without you. I... <laughs> Damn it. The hell am I doing? I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't... I should go to bed. Let go of my hand. Because it's... It's hard walking away from you. 
But I have to. <sighs> You're so kind and patient. You're amazing in every way possible. But I'm on a time limit. You could convince me to let my old life die. And live like this with you forever. But I can't. So please, just... Are you sure about this? I can't make any promises about how this will go. And I don't want to hurt you. I'll never forgive myself if I did. Okay. If you're not afraid, neither am I. Come here. Whatever happens between us, I want you to know that you mean a lot to me. I don't regret coming here. It's probably the best thing that's ever happened to me. Because I got to meet you. Hmm? Oh, yeah. We should go to bed. We have to get up early to open the shop. And you had a long day. You should get some rest. Do you want me to sleep in your room? If you're okay with it, sure. I'd be happy to. Come here. Well, yeah, your legs are sore, remember? Although, if you want to walk to the bedroom, you can. Thought so. I still don't know what I did to deserve you. But I'm glad you're here. Now come on. If you don't get enough sleep, you're gonna be grumpy tomorrow. <laughs>